Hey, it's Professor Josh. Happy, happy Monday. Hopefully everyone is doing well and having a great Monday. Um, we're back. We're back on Monday night like normal. Every Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, we're here hanging out with you. Um, no Shannon tonight. She wasn't feeling the greatest, so she's said, you go do your live and without me. So I'm here. I'm hanging out with everyone. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend and kicking off their week right. Maybe got some hunting done over the weekend. Maybe try to score some stuff at Target. I know Target's been dropping crazy stuff um, all like week for people at different times in different locations and all those kind of things but i just want to say hey what's up to sparky sparky d jeremy hanging out howard welcome welcome we got uh we got aussie uh aussie pop and paul welcome and unboxing treasures jay and mock guinness welcome welcome hopefully everyone's doing well um we're hanging out it's Monday. It's Mail Call Monday. So we're going to hang out, um, check out some of the stuff that I picked up in the last week or so, I guess. And last, like things that came in over the weekend or things that we hunt and found. All those good things. Um, the first one I wanted to show you because it's right here. Um, I was finally able to get the Marvin the Martian. So this came in a t-shirt bundle. Shannon is actually wearing the t-shirt right now. So she has the t-shirt. But I love this Marvin. I love the metallic look on him. Um, it looks so good. It's such a great pop. And the metallic look on it was a great one to pick up. Um, so really happy about finding that one finally at a Target. Like no one knows when they drop. No specific day. No specific hour or whatever they're just there so you just gotta hunt around so i think we went to three or four targets over the weekend i'm um, just looking for stuff yeah now this guy yeah he just kind of fell into the target nearest me didn't have it but i found another target that had one so i picked him up um i really wanted the pop mainly the t-shirt was okay shannon wanted the t-shirt so she got the t-shirt we got the pop um it's a great combo there and then they also had, um, they had, you know, other stuff. I'm waiting for the Eddie Brock. I heard some people getting it today in Florida. I think Gem Pop said uh, his target was getting them, and he was like eighth in line, and there were six of them or something like that. And then I saw someone else local said their target got it, and it was gone. So um, all those kind of things were like boom, boom, you know, everything out of there. It was crazy. But I haven't seen, we went to two targets tonight just to check. We did not find the Eddie Brock Venom Blacklight that we're looking for. I love the t-shirt. It looks awesome. And the pop just looks great. So keep hunting that one. I don't know why they're, they're like, uh, you know, popping up at places and all kinds of things. So, oh, you're fat, fat gum. Really? Well, that's cool. GameStop had fat gum. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that would be a great one to grab. If it is available to grab, I'd love to have that one. We're My Hero collectors. My son's a big My Hero watcher. I think he's watched all the seasons like five or six times. I watched them all through at least once. Um, that kind of thing. So, But it, it is Monday night. Like I said, we were hunting. Um, we did find other things. So I found two other things at Target tonight. Did not find Eddie Brock. Did not see any more Marvins um, hanging out. But I did see this one, which is actually a kind of cool one. I think it's going to be a sleeper one if you don't grab it. It's a LeBron James and Bugs Bunny two-pack. And I love that they're Batman and Robin. And you don't see that too often. You know, you have Jeffrey the Giraffe as Batman and Robin. But you don't see other characters that often as, like, DC characters coming in with, uh, you know, the Space Jam, uh, Looney Tunes kind of set. And then we got LeBron James, of course, uh, NBA. So kind of a weird mix there, but definitely a cool set. I think it's going to be a sleeper set people probably aren't grabbing um, or thinking about. But I know it's not available online uh, and haven't been able to. And another one we grabbed, um, we both, Shannon and I both wanted this T-shirt. I think the pop's all right. But the t-shirt is the awesome one. So this t-shirt bundle, we found it dropped tonight. So this is one that today must have been put out kind of like near the electronics area. Wasn't, um, you know, wasn't where the pops were. But we did notice that they had a ton of the art series pops 
it's actually where like the Marvel um, Legends figures and the toys area were when we walked through that area. And also noticed like they had an anime section, so they had anime pops over there. So they're taking pops in other places in the store and getting them all over. But this is a cool one. Uh, the pops, all right. Interesting enough, the pop is not in a hard case. This is an art series that isn't in a pop stack. So if you get this one, it wasn't in a pop stack to begin with. Uh, it is. The t-shirt, and I think the t-shirt is what makes this one. You know, I, art serious ones are kind of these ones. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of them. It's just like, hey, let's throw some symbols all over everything and see what it looks like. But I wanted the t-shirt more than anything. But the pop's all right. So I don't know how many people have grabbed any of these uh, art series Marvel ones. But they're just in stores today. So at least in Florida... Um, both the stores had those. Um, we grabbed one for a friend and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, looking around and finding those bundles and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. What's going on, Nick? Gem Pops. We got collectible cord in the house. Nadia is hanging out with us tonight. Uh, Kenneth is hanging out. So all kinds of folks joining in on the live. We're having some fun. Uh, talking about Target. So Target seems to be dropping the most uh, t-shirt bundles ever, right? All the ones everyone's hunting for. So Eddie Brock, Blacklight. Um, one Target in the area has actually got it, and they were gone. Of course, there were like six of them. Um, I heard they were gone pretty quick. Uh, the other one was, um, of course, the Captain America. Um art series bundle t-shirt and then Marvin the Martian was popped up over the weekend. That's where we found this guy. So they're popping up in different places. You're kind of starting to see some of them um, go up, but you know, it's really interesting. Um, of course, the other one is uh, the Walmart Seinfeld one. I have it it's probably in another room there, but the Walmart Seinfeld one, uh, the soup Nazi there. Um, he is his shirt. No soup for you. Um, his shirt bundle and that had started to hit stores and then started to be delivered or canceled. So I think depending on sizes too, some are being canceled, some are being delayed, all about sizes. For Walmart, it's always weird on their different sizes. There was actually a pretty good amount of art series sizes I noticed. Um, there was 2X, there was extra large, there was medium and large. So they had all those sizes actually in the art series Captain America. But I did not see, you know, some of the other ones. But, yeah, I don't know. Everyone, like, says they're confirmed a different... Like, why are they coming in another month? Like, all these other stores are getting them. I I'm really confused about... No one has a real release date. Some people are saying, like, the 24th was supposed to be the release date for it. Um, it's not coming out. It is coming out. Uh, all those kind of things. The other one we're looking for is, of course, the flocked uh, Alice in Wonderland rabbit. Looking for for a friend, really, um, for that. So help them out with it. Uh, you know, those kind of things. You know, you're seeing those start to pop up different places. I did not see them at the three or four locations that we went to over the weekend. Um, and, and today we went to two different targets. They didn't have them, but the Mad Hatter one um, definitely is starting to pop up as well, uh, the flocked one. So you're seeing, you know, man, how many packs? It seems like they're, like Target's doing a good job of getting those exclusive uh, exclusive packs, uh, the different ones, but they've already been dropping everywhere. Like, no release dates don't matter. Like, they're getting in their system. They're not street dated, so you can't check out with them. Uh, if they show up and they're putting them out, people are grabbing them. So that's what it seems like with any of them. I saw at least three or four local people post about Mad Hatter Pops um, over the weekend. I didn't want to travel to some of the, the location. I figured they'd be gone by the time I get there if someone's posting it, too. Sometimes, you know, when they only get like six in or something like that. I think you'll see some, you know, you're going to start seeing some pop up, of course, on the app there. So, you know, your Target app, you're starting to see some release dates coming up. So that means they'll probably release more. Um, some being delivered and things like that, too. So it'll be really interesting to see, you know, what's coming and what's going on. Um, and then 
pre-orders, you know, they haven't even popped up with the Eddie Brock pre-order, right? And no one has seen that one. Can't even find it on their app. A lot of times I favorite stuff, so I don't know if anyone else does this, but, you know, in their discovery, you can favor things and you can also, you know, look through things. But, like, it's really interesting. Like, the flock, uh, let's see, when was it supposed to be? It says 26. So if you look up, like Alice in Wonderland, the flocked rabbit. If you scroll down a little bit, you see it's supposed to be coming the 26th. It's out everywhere, like pre-order. So that means there might be some more online um, that will pop up. So we'll see. You never know. Yeah, I know. I, I know you told me. I saw someone else post about another location. I was not going to get there in time. I think they said they were like, they got the last one anyways before it. Um Yeah, a couple, you know, different locations of, like, Evelyn's finding some in Florida, too, with uh, with um, White Rabbit, Alice in Wonderland Flock Rabbit. So they're starting to pop up places. I don't get why Target's not releasing them same dates, or they're just releasing stock when they get in, or what's going on with it. I'm not sure. Like, it's really weird. I heard some people um, theorize that, like, kind of like the PlayStations, they're not releasing the stock online, so people can't like hunt down them as easy It's kind of like if they show up in stores, they're available in stores and you go in and find it um, kind of thing. Like, I guess you have to go back every day and ask or people call probably every day and ask. I'm sure they're sick of hearing the same people call. Hey, do you got the Eddie Brock black lights? You got the Eddie black black lights. Yeah. And then other people have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, well, what Funko thing are you looking for? What's the number? I have no idea what you're talking about. So what's going on, Anthony? Welcome in the house. I haven't been, you know, what? I haven't been to a Hot Topic or a box lunch in a little while, like a couple weeks. Um, I don't know. Nothing has super dropped I wanted. I think they had some sodas drop at the store, but I'm like, I got most of those online or pre-ordered most of those, so I wasn't looking at it. I guess, you know, I have hot cash to use, so that would be good um, to use some hot cash in store. And you can use it in store on Funko Sodas. You can't use it online, like lunch money online for Funko Sodas anymore. I used to use it all for that kind of thing. Um, can't use it, so... Oh, nice. It's it's cool to see, like, different signings happening. Um, they usually travel around a lot. So you see them at a lot of different cons, a bunch of the My Hero um, people, uh, Justin Brenner, um, some of the other, of course, characters that you see. They travel a lot to cons and a lot around. I'm sure right now they're trying to get more and more because, you know, in the last year or year and a half, they haven't been able to do a lot of these things. So for them, it's a huge probably money maker besides, you know, doing the voice acting, being able to get do these uh, gigs where they're signing and doing autographs. And I think a lot of them like to meet their fans and stuff like that, too. I mean, their fan base really makes what's going on um, great. So I, I'd go to that uh, same hot topic when I'm when I'm working actually downtown i haven't been working downtown because i've been working virtually from home but when i go downtown sometimes i'll go to that one it's a sad mall that's such a sad mall evelyn um such a it's interesting place that doesn't get hit up as much but they don't get as much in they never get funko sodas they don't i don't think they ever got chomps in or anything like that that's one thing i haven't really seen here locally is the chomps pop in i haven't seen anyone post about them, but I saw other locations and other places get them. So I'm curious about what happened with that Hot Topic Chomp, um, if it's ever going to come out again or get into some of the stores locally as well, too. So I'm keeping my eye out on that. Keep your eye out on the Hot Topic Chomp. Um, another thing I picked up, and I only saw one of these, and I haven't seen too many of these uh, lately, is the Star Wars box. So I did pre-order these a while back, but I haven't opened one. But I picked up an extra one, so I'm going to open this one um, because the pops in it are pretty awesome, especially the one. Um, the one pop is really awesome, and it's uh, the pop alone is worth the price of the box. I mean, that's the crazy thing when you see things like that. And so this is the GameStop Gamer Star Wars box, so the Gaming Greats box. I don't know how many people have got this. 
this is pretty much what it looks like. It doesn't come with a t-shirt. It comes with two pops, and it comes with some miscellaneous other things. But I will say, this pop is probably worth the price of the box alone. So if you like Revan, Jedi Knight Revan is an awesome pop. Of course, they have the other one where you have Dark Revan, but Jedi Knight Revan is a really awesome pop. And it's, I think... PPG is still like 40 bucks or so because it's 30 bucks to buy this box. And this is what probably most people are after because it's the only way to get this pop. Um, so that's a really cool one. I don't know how many people have been going after that. I luckily just saw it in the store and I was like, ah, I'm going to grab this. I haven't got it. And this one's also cool too. So um, Ballista Shane. I, I'm not too familiar with this character from the game. But this is a cool pop. I like the lightsaber. The cool lightsaber setup and everything. It kind of reminds me of like a Jedi Darth Maul like lightsaber setup, the dual side. So it's pretty cool. So both of them are a nice pops. I mean, they pay for the box alone, um, and then you get some other goodies. So the pops alone are probably what a lot of people are grabbing, and then you get goodies. Man, the goodies are always just fun. So. Get a nice keychain. This is actually a really nice keychain. Really hefty, heavy duty keychain they get with both the characters on it. I need to really play. Uh, what's this from the Knights Republic, right? And then you get a cool um, patch. A really cool patch. And then it looks like another, like a, a lanyard. Oh, you get a lanyard. I haven't seen too many lanyards lately. So, Funko lanyard. So a little lanyard with the same symbol on it and a little pouch where you could put like a, your ID or card or money or whatever in it. So kind of cool. I mean, you're really paying for the pops and then you're getting this extra stuff bonus. That's what I feel like because it's 30 bucks for the box and then, uh, you know, you're getting that. So not too bad. But yeah, so if you see this box, that's what's in it. Pretty cool pops. Pretty good stuff. Not too bad at uh, GameStop. So I found that. I found... Uh, they had a couple other things, but nothing super I wanted or needed to grab. So, you know, those are some basic things that I had to grab um, from GameStop. And then, oh, I got Books A Million in. So I don't really order from Books A Million that often. Uh, but exclusives, but this is actually not an exclusive. It actually was just a really decent deal, and I think it had free shipping to it. So that's why I grabbed it like this. So um, let's see how it came out. Hopefully it didn't come out too damaged. It's right on top. I was surprised. But I haven't seen these yet. I've seen, of course, pop albums and the other stuff. Um, but this is the first time I've seen the comic book. So number one, Superman uh, from act, you know the action comic number one here. Oh, uh, if you bought this for ten cents and kept it nice and minty, how much would that thing be worth? <laughs> so crazy, crazy thought of like the people back in the day that could have bought this. Um, but I don't know. They do have the holes. I guess you would have to take it out of the box and you could hang it up. So we'll kind of do that. We'll take this one out of the box. It does have the holes in the back here. It is still... This one's plastic wrap. I don't know if I like the comic book cover thing inside, though. It's just kind of flimsy in there. Look, it's not stuck very well to the side, you know. It's kind of flimsy in it, but... Kind of a cool display piece, right? So, not too bad. I think it would be a cool display piece. I love it. It's a classic. You don't see a Superman like that, though, right? They have never made a Funko Pop with that Superman style, the original Superman style. So, but I don't like how, yeah, I don't like the comic book part. Like, it's not flat, I guess, maybe if you had it, but it's like, it falls when you do that. So maybe, I mean, it. I don't know why they wouldn't 
glue it to the back of there or something or have some kind of stickiness, double-sided tape even, because you don't need to see this. You need to see this, but it needs to look really good. But I think it would be a cool display piece. And the Kramer, yeah, they have the Kramer one that's kind of like the art one. Next one is what, Batman for the comics? What, what do you think will be after Batman? What do we think? Batman is next, and then what? Marvel? You think they'll have a Marvel one? Do you think they'll have just keep with the DC for a while? Like Green Lantern, uh, maybe uh, Aquaman, maybe Wonder Woman. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Like, it's interesting. Would you keep it in the box? Would you take it out of the box? I mean, this one came out. It's not the greatest. Came in all right, but it's still... These boxes are weird for these. Like, is it supposed to be in the box? Is it not supposed to be in the box? Why didn't they put the holes in the box where you could just put it up like this, I guess, and still keep that? But I guess it'll look really good as a display piece. It's not expensive. It's like, what, 12 bucks? So for 12 bucks, 12, 13 bucks, I think I paid for it. I mean, it's a cool display piece, if nothing else. it's I don't need it as a collectible. I could just use it as a really cool display piece. So if they had a bunch of them, um, it would be really awesome. Yeah, Venom would be awesome. Uh, yeah, Venom. Uh, Batman's coming out next. Spider-Man would be cool. Iron Man, of course. Um, you know, as you keep going through, I don't know if they'll keep, go Marvel yet or just keep working on DC. Like, I don't know how the rights and everything they're working with them. Um, they had all those Marvel, what, uh, the Marvel, what, 50th year or whatever one. A Batman one, like, I don't know. I, I wonder what ones they'll start coming out with like other ones with it, but I wish they did something. Yeah, you could always, yeah, if you could find a, you could find a brand new, I guess you could get the replica remade ones of the comic, but if you could find an action comic, I don't think I would worry about a pop being inside it. Um, I think I'd be happy with just the comic itself. Uh, action comics, number one there. Uh, if I found that, I think I would be good. Deadpool, yeah, Deadpool is so interesting. A lot of them are so interesting because, like, where the character falls in and really the first ep one, uh, the whole X-Men set, like, who who would you put? Yeah, wh who do you put? Like, the Turtles would be cool, but do you just put one of the Turtles because they're all, like, the original comics, the Turtles are all the same color at first, you know, the gray and that. So I wonder, like, who do you put first, you know, and have, you have just one of them in there. If you had the Turtle comics, I think those would be a cool one um, to me. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics. Uh, you know, even Star Wars has comics. All kinds of stuff has comics. So, all kinds of interesting things. So, if you're interested in what I'm looking for at FunCon, you know what? I think I have... Let me... See if I can send this to myself. I kind of marked some things. So let me send this to myself real quick. I can pull it up. Put it in my Dropbox. So I have kind of it marked. And it would be really neat to see if you guys want to see what I'm looking forward to. Did everyone get their email today um, to just let you know so you can enter for the lottery for the actual fun con? Box of Fun, I guess, is coming out tomorrow, they say. Um, but the Fun Con actually is coming. Uh, so you're having what? We're having that one. Hmm, wasn't that one? Uh, the Fun Con email went out today for the lottery. Tomorrow should be a Box of Fun. I'll probably get the, you know... Thanks for trying. No thanks. I'm sure that'll come my way. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. And definitely hit that, smash that like button. Um, of course, we have the premiere at 1030. So uh, make sure you're around that. I still need to do a, um, from our last Soda Saturday with uh, the battle with Slapshot Pops, um, still have a Soda Soda Saturday, I believe, one to do with that and a soda, another Soda Saturday coming up too. So we'll definitely... 
I'll definitely try to get some of those in here, or if not, next week. I also want to do a big uh, 2K celebration soon. I'm thinking about doing it next Monday. We'll do a big 2K celebration, and we'll maybe uh, we'll do some giveaways. And then Pop Force 1, when Vince hits 4K, we're going to do a big Pop Force 1 celebration of all of us hitting our milestones. And Vince is like 40, 50 away from his 4K, so I probably tomorrow... Um, he will. Speaking of, I see Vince just came in the house. So welcome, welcome, Vince. All right. So um, let's see. See if this came over. I'll show you guys what I'm kind of thinking I want from FunCon. So let me pull up. See if I can download this recent file here. Where is it? I always have fun trying to find all the stuff in the Dropbox recent. Should have one that just added. I'm waiting for it to add. That's why. All right, let's see. All right, let's open it, and we'll get to it. All right. So a recent, recent one. We got some cool stuff. Um, of course, me picking. There's so many different things to pick from. That's the hard thing. It's like, what do you choose from the con? And there's not... A ton, but there's a good number of stuff. So that's the kind of interesting thing with it. I don't need a ton, but there's a good number of stuff. So let's pull this up. Let's see if I can get this going. All right, so let's share this screen. And you'll get to see all the fun here. So these are the things I'm looking at picking up. So first row, Barnes & Noble, probably not Harry Potter. I don't know, FYE stuff. Walgreens, I would like Blade. So I think Walgreens is definitely, uh, Blade would be a pretty awesome one to pick up. Uh, definitely is on my list of one of those. Uh, if you look through them, um, Kronk, uh, that definitely, uh, Shannon wanted that one. I think it'd be cool too. The scout leader Kronk there. Um, Mickey, we have, we have the other one. So of course we need to keep three musketeers. We have Donald, uh, Captain America, Wolf, Captain Wolf Cap or whatever you want to call him. I forget what his name is. Uh, Noir, uh, been getting all the boys series. So I'd like to keep that going. Uh, let's see. And we go over to the Funko shop, the Funko web stuff. Of course, the sodas. Uh, I need Thor. I don't care if I get the clown or not. It'll be a low count one anyways, but I don't really have to have it. If I get it, I get it. Um, to open. But Thor is definite. I like the die cast. I'd like to check him out. So I'd like to be able to get him first. Uh, Moby or Moby. Um, Moby's, um, from, uh, Jay and Silent Bob and all that Kevin Smith trilogy stuff. It'd be cool to grab. I have a lot of Kevin Smith and Jay and all those kind of things. Just watch actually Mall Rats uh, yesterday. Um, Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse would be an awesome one to get. Of course, go with the Danger Mouse sodas. Uh, Rocketeer. I love the Rocketeer. I love to have another pop of the Rocketeer. So definitely want to grab that one. Uh, the Motu Spike. Uh, the Motu sodas. Web Webster. Um, the Prince Adam, definitely. I just don't, Prince Adam's chase is lame. Like, what are they thinking? Um, uh, Homer, Homer, of course, I'm a Simpsons 
completionist. Uh, Homer is definitely uh, one to grab. And then we got uh, we got an Imperial Commander there. Star Wars, yeah. Let's see if I can get in some of these other ones. Um, Fat Gum, yes. Uh, My Hero, and then that's also with uh, Gang Orca. Both of those are yes for me for My Hero. And then Harley would be a cool one. I'm not I'm super impressed with its uh, chase as well, but Harley would be a good one. I, you know what? I didn't go after the pops for it. So if I got the black light, if I got the con, I'd probably grab the black light and that'd probably be one to use a trade bait later on or something like that. Um, but it's not a nece necessity for me. I want the sodas, the black light sodas, but I don't need the pops. I don't know. I also wonder land's not something I collect, so I don't need to spend all my money going after all of them. Um, so I'm kind of glad about that a little bit. Um, course uh you know there's a couple others like eh, if i got the pokemon i would get the pokemon uh, i might get i like kind of the weird D and D ones sometimes uh just because they're different i love the molds that are different and kind of unique but i think these are the main ones i would go after and then other ones i would just kind of throw in there um and add so it's kind of like and there's stuff you can probably get i think people sleep on some of these ones like i, I think uh Gelatinous Cube, people slept on and didn't get, and then that one's worth a good amount now. Um, I really like the Gelatinous Cube. I think it's such a unique mold as well, too. And just, of course, classic D&D &D stuff going on. Um, but also, yeah, a couple other things, like here and there. If I got stuff, I would get it, but not. it's not a must-have. Like the Imperial ones, Target, Deathstroke, yeah, maybe Martian Manhunter, yeah. Um, I don't really need the seal, but, you know, might grab them as an icon, stuff like that. Um, but I don't see, like, too many, like, must as Walmart, luckily. I don't feel like I need to have anything, need, need anything from there. So that's good because Walmart's always usually a mess to get stuff. Or they don't have stickers on it or whatever else they're going to do with it. So, yeah, I think some good ones in there. Yeah, I think, you know, I think the flocked one is better. Uh, if you're if you're not going after, if you're going after all the black lights, it's different, right? But if you're not going after all the black lights, you might as well just stick with whatever. Um, yeah, I definitely grabbed a couple when they came out, and then I've been, I grabbed them afterward. They were just kind of sitting there for a while. I noticed that was Slim when he was the, um, a couple other ones, like, People don't, sometimes those are the ones that I love the best. Like, I think these will be, like, things to go after or they make the rest of the series and people went after. Of course, Blacklight, if this one came, this one should have came out first and then they should have came out with all the rest. I think this one has snuck in there and then they came out with all the rest. This one would have went up even more in value later on. Um, Rock and Tear, yeah, he's underrated. And it's first mold, they made of him in a while. They have, of course, the soda they made. But I like that it's a kind of a more moving mold, kind of him flying, you know, that kind of stance. I, I think those ones. Um, I don't feel like I need some of the other ones, so I can probably be okay with it. So who knows? If I win the lottery, what what do you get? You know, do you get a little bit of everything? But you don't want to get everything because then some things aren't even worth what you pay for them afterwards, but I don't think there's too many of that this time. There was some really oddball things last time, um, last couple cons that like people probably no one won, but I think I don't think there's as much like no one wants, especially from the Funko shop. Like there's a couple things in there that are kind of strange and interesting. I'm wondering how like the clown will do with the sodas. Like how much will that go up to? Um, all those crazy things. So. Yeah, so I don't know. If someone wins a lottery, what do you get? Do you get a little bit of everything and help people out? Do you get some things and help trade? Um, who's getting the, Who needs to get the chicken nugget? I don't know. Like, do you need more chicken nuggets? Someone does. Someone needs them, but not me. Um, Tokidokis might be sleepers. Yeah, they might be. I think there's a, each thing has its niche, too. And if they don't make a ton of the niche, 
or it sits around like this is toy tokyo and show only so the show only stuff is always crazy um too high at the beginning it usually goes down unless it's something everyone really wants to stay around usually it's way too high at the beginning so the nuggets i don't think will be hard like you know, hot topic will have it like certain things i don't think will be hard um I, I, so does toy tokyo kind of a pain hopefully they don't sell everything in a set again i really hated when they kind of did that you had to buy everything um I don't I hope they don't do that kind of thing. Um, GameStop will be interesting because they don't drop sodas in stores that often. So Prince Adam being shared with them um, will be really interesting because I asked someone in stores, they don't take pre-orders anymore. They don't allow them to take pre-orders to send to stores anymore for sodas. Um, people aren't buying them. Like they're all sold out on your website. So your sodas are selling. So other than the, uh, of course, uh, no one's buying the luchador sodas. But other than that, those kind of things. So some cool stuff. We'll see uh, how that lottery um, goes and what's going out and, you know, trying to figure out what to do with what. So let's see. Let's remove this again. So I had a couple sodas I wanted to open. Um, so I see some good comments here. I'm just kind of reading up. Yeah, I figured Gabby would want the Nuggets. Gabby likes the Nuggets. All right. So I have some sodas from Box Lunch. And they actually, look, they ship them in a box and they're individually bagged. Isn't that amazing? Individually bagged in these nice bubble wrap. They probably got tired of refunding people their money for their sodas when it came so beat up. Um, they realized, wow, we're losing 15 bucks off of each of these sodas every time we send them to someone and we could spend 15 cents on some bubble wrap bags and save some money. So, all right. So I got a Devo. I have not scored this chase yet. So let's see if we can get some chase action going on here. Devo here from Box Lunch. I don't know. It's like Box Lunch. You can get like all chases or no chases. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to get like all chases or no chases, I bet. Um, so I got Devo and I got Captain Cold. So let's see what we get here. And I did enter for the Box of Fun. I'm just waiting. Guessing tomorrow. So let's see. What do we think? Oh, 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 boom, boom. I got the chase finally. <coughs> I got the chase. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, the value of them is, what, like $2 for the sodas now, too? The luchador sodas are the comments. Like, it's so bad. Um, but he doesn't really look much different than the comment. Of course, he does have that glow. I don't think there's anything else different about him other than he glows. So I'm curious if I have my glow light so I can tell what he looks like. Uh, I see him glow a little bit. Definitely, I'll have to post the picture later, but I think it's all built in. I don't feel it, too, so definitely you would have to look at the Pog, because you can't feel the glow on them as much, but awesome. Finally got a Chase, Chase Devo. Hopefully, that means the whole box is a Chase. Like, maybe, I don't think I'll open them all tonight. I'll keep some from Pop Force 1 or something like that. Or I just pulled the chase, and now I won't get any more chases. But I do have a Captain Cole here, though, too. So let's see if I can double my chases tonight. Uh, a little lighter orange, a little different. Look so close. I haven't compared the other one, because that's the first chase I got. So... All right, so we got Captain Cole here. I like this chase. It's, of course, the flocked chase. It looks really good, I think. So I'm hoping. 
hoping maybe Box Lunch did me well and sent me a bunch of chases. Let's hope. Maybe. Alright. A little shaky shake here. How many chases do I own? I don't know. Like, the ch I own pretty much all the first wave. I have most of the chases up until this point, other than a couple, like the New York Comic Con, uh, Freddy, Pizza Freddy, um, the Slee Stack, and the HR Puff and, up, st Puff and Stuff one. I don't have those chases. Um, but a lot of the other stuff I do have the chases for. And then I have doubles of some stuff, too. Some stuff I put away. Like, hiding away as they creep up in value. All right. What are we thinking? Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a common. It's just the common, Mr. Cold. I still like this one. I think he's underrated. I think they did a good job, but at least I hit a chase. Always fun to hit a chase. I know. I actually have a little... Where is that little sound? I don't... I have no idea where it went. I had a little sound buzzer thing, too. A little different. Now, it would be interesting if I got a chase and it's a common talk, right? But, I mean, Rock and Row had it where he had two sealed ones and they had a uh, common. But I've seen someone else with a, a chase um, with a common pog or... I think, but man, the thing, look at this. It just like melded this thing on there. But nah, it looks very much like the common. But he is still a cool common. I mean, you gotta say, he looks good. I do like the flockness, but I like how they did this one. I like also how they did his like glasses and everything. He just looks good. He kind of has. Good looking outfit on him and everything all together. So, yeah. I like when they put a little detail in them. I think the most detailed, I like uh, Rat Fink a lot lately. So, Rat Fink is really cool on how they did that. Yeah, sometimes you just want to put stuff away and see how it does. Like, you want to forget about it, you want to see how it does, and then you're really surprised in a year or two. You take it out and you're like, wow, that went up like 500%. And I'm really happy about that. And now I can sell it or trade it and get something else I really, really want. Um, so, and that's always good when you, especially if you pay like retail cost or maybe you got it. Even some of the chases early on, people were selling for 50, 60 bucks. And now they'll look at them, they're 200, 300. Um, even that Freddy, uh, the Freddy chase for a while was going for what? Only like 125 to 200 dollars. Um, now it's 440. So you know, in less than like six months to a year, you can triple your money. That's pretty awesome um, to see stuff like that happen. So those are always good. Better than you know, sometimes stock market unless you hit the right time with a GameStop stock. All right, uh, or a AMC. Right. Um. Let's do giveaways. So I got a couple giveaways going on. So of course we got our normal Soda Saturday. So I'm going to pull up that one. First, we got our normal Soda Saturday happening here. So last Saturday, we opened a bunch of pretty cool ones up. Let me pull that up real quick. And then that's, uh, let's see. Of course, I'll have to get my YouTube comment picker up. And then also we went over to John and Joanna's when we did a battle. I don't think we've given away that one yet. We're going to give it away on the live. They're live, but I don't think we got on there till later. So I don't know if they did. Um. Just gonna go soda Saturday. So if you haven't entered for some reason, I don't know why you're not watching our soda Saturday videos. Shame on you. But it's a, it's a 
We'll post that and we'll post uh Soda Saturday. So this is from just last week, and then we had one with John and Joanna too, but that was over on their channel. Battled them out. We beat them with three chases. So we got 50 comments for uh, this past week. So let me go ahead and share that. Get that up there for everyone. Let me see if I can switch. All right. So we have comment picker here from last Saturday. We got 50 unique entries. Good luck, good luck, everyone. You don't have to be here to win for it, but it's always more fun if you're here to win. So this is from last Soda Saturday, um, posted this past weekend. So good luck, good luck, everyone. Let's go. Let's run it. Oh, hi, Shy Guy. Hi, Shy Guy. Soda Saturday. I don't know if they got it, but uh, oh, awesome. They pulled an international rap thing. So they enjoyed the bloopers at the end. You guys didn't stick around for the bloopers. It's always great when, especially when we do videos together, we got the bloopers going on. But if Hi, Shy Guy isn't here, I'll go ahead and reach out to them um, and let them know they won. So that's the uh, first winner there. Well, let me. Make sure we get that. Hi, Shy Guy. I'll reply back to them. Congratulations. And then uh, let's do the other one. So let me find this one. This was on Slapshot Pops channel. And this is where we did a battle with them. And you went over there and hashtag Feed Fallon. So we did our battle with them. Uh, maybe it was two weeks ago. As we are trying to finish to get to 2K, which we did. Thank you very much for everyone's support on getting us to 2K. I have a special thank you card going out to all the Patreons with the stickers and everything um, this month ready to go. I hand wrote all the thank you cards for all my Patreons. So that's going out to you guys this week. Um, but let's see. Videos. Let's find their video. All right, Soda Saturday, Feed Fallon. Going to do another giveaway here. And this one was the Feed Fallon giveaway. Let's see how many people entered. Ah, 56 unique comments for this one. So again, this one was Feed Feed Fallon, which was uh, based off of another lie that we did, <laughs> that they did where Fallon was starving and we started trending a hashtag Feed Fallon to get her fed. But uh, we, so we did it where our soda battle back to them and then they did 2K Cat for uh, Shannon <laughs> back to us. So they're doing the 2K Cat giveaway. I don't know if they did it on their live or not. We didn't get to their live late um, last week, but uh, if not, they'll do it this week. I'll remind slap shots, but let's see. We got uh, 57 unique comments on there. We'll do that giveaway just in a minute here. Um, just a reminder for everyone as we're kind of hanging out here. Um, we got some great stuff coming up, of course, um, with uh, Pop Force 1 on Thursday. Uh, Vince is almost at 4K. Get ready for some big party Pop Force 1 going on um, with some cool giveaways and all kinds of fun stuff. And I'm sure we'll be promoting lots of other channels and things like that when we do those. Um, and then also we have, um, we have just our battle coming up. Um, I think we're going to do a rematch soda battle. Um, with John and Joanna, and then also uh, Rock and Row wants to battle out some Soda Saturdays, so you might see some of those popping up soon as well, too. 
Um, so some new Soda Saturday battles going on from other channels. So if you have a channel and want to battle us for a, a Soda Saturday, hit me up. Let me know. Maybe we can do a Soda Saturday battle, plan some out um, to battle some other channels. So always have fun with that. And, of course, we love our Funko Sodas. All right. So I'm going to go back. We'll, we'll do uh, get comments again just in case anyone else entered. Got one more. All right. Let's do it. Good luck, good luck, good luck, everyone. Ah, Teresa. Teresa won uh, the Feed Fallon a soda. So I'll hit up Teresa and see what soda. Of course, she probably needs no soda. Um, so, <laughs> but uh, I'll hit up uh, Teresa because um, she's probably probably bought every soda and pulled every chase as well, too, knowing Teresa. So... <laughs> But congratulations to, of course, all our uh, giveaway winners. Um, try to have some fun with some different giveaways. Soda Saturday, almost all every Soda Saturday, there's some kind of giveaway at least. And then we also have some other things, you know. We have a 2K giveaway coming up. I won't announce that yet, but get ready for it. It will be on the live. It will be on Instagram. It will be um, a video probably for it. So all those kind of things um, will be out there. So we'll have a nice big 2K giveaway just as kind of like everyone else has done. Maybe next week instead of doing a premiere, we'll just have a longer live, invite some other people on and hang out and have some fun with that, all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, uh, we'll do then maybe the video earlier. Or we'll post it earlier in the day or something like that. But we do have the premiere in about eight minutes. Um, this premiere, we do have, uh, a course, some other Funko sodas. We have some Funko soda spastic mystery boxes, um, that I open. And then also a pop King Paul mystery box, which, you know, there's always some good stuff coming out of a pop King Paul mystery box. So that's always nice as well. What's going on dead zone. Um, welcome in the house. Uh, hopefully everyone, like I said, is having a good Monday. Like I, uh, we always keep these kind of shorter. Um, they're a little more fun. They're a little more hanging out and having a good time. And then we go over to our premiere video so we can all watch it together. We can comment together. We can chat together. All that kind of stuff. I always like hearing, you know, what people are excited for and uh, other things that you pull in a video. So those are kind of always fun as well. But, uh, you know what? We have another time for another Funko Soda. And I think I'm going to try my luck to see if there's another Devo Chase in here. Um, I've been crazy lucky sometimes with these, like, box lunch packs like this. Where you all open up, like, the all these separate sealed ones. Like, sometimes you get some, like, crazy chases. I actually really like how they do these now. I kind of like these little bags. Bags for your Funko Soda. These are nice. Box Lunch needs to keep doing that to keep them good. So let's see if we can, uh, like uh, Jay here says, let's see if we can whip it good. Maybe whip a chase. Hopefully whip out a chase here with the Funko Sodas. So really interesting like how these rip because they're not ripping as easy. Sometimes they rip right down that seam. Sometimes not. Oh, well, thanks for joining us, Dead Zone. Listening while you're working. I know I do that a lot of times, too. I'll, like, listen and work or get some... I'm trying to edit video or doing other stuff, too. So, hopefully we can get uh, another chase here. Been pretty lucky. I'm just going to do the Pog because we know how hard this one is to tell the difference once you open it up. So, we might as well just do the Pog and see if we got it. Oh, Boom, baby! Look at that! Two in a row! Alright, I'm keeping the other two for Pop Force 1. Maybe I'll have uh, two more. <coughs> you never know, but boom! That's our uh, second chase of the night. Two Devos in a row. I love that. I love when I get... I, that's why I buy them sometimes from Box Lunch and that. And, and GameStop sometimes can be the same way. Like... If you buy them from a retailer, they're going to open them from a sealed case, and you're going to get one chase. If you buy them from somewhere from Box Lunch, you find a coupon for 25% off or something like that, and boom, you can get more than one chase. Um, you know, that's pretty awesome. I like that. 
So I'll, I'll keep, I have two more. I'll keep for Pop Force One. And then you guys can come on Thursday night and you saw it. I opened two already. Let's see how many I get out of that whole set. But that's pretty awesome. Um, man. I'm happy about that. I didn't have any Devo chases. Now I got two. So you can't beat that. Um, can't beat that. And for opening them, sodas. Uh, you know, sometimes for box lunch, you can use fine coupons. I don't know if anyone else uses this. This is my tip. Um, and I'll send you the link if you guys want the link to it. I think I have like a affiliate link kind of thing to it. But I use the Honey app. So I use the Honey built-in plugin. And certain sites, you can have it run through and tell you if it has a, a code to use. And if there's multiple codes, it'll try different codes to see what one works the best. Works good for GameStop, um, Box Lunch, Hot Topic, uh, a couple other sites I've seen it work pretty good for. But some cool stuff. Thanks, Evelyn. Have a good night. Oh, I did see that, Jay. I I'm curious to what they mean by vaulted, since they're all numbered. So how does that work? Isn't this vaulted once they all sell? Like, they're not going to make this a Devo soda right again, because they're all numbered limited pieces. So I don't get why the tick would be the only one vaulted. Wouldn't, like, any of the other ones be vaulted? I, I have no idea. I still need the tick chase, though. So I need to trade someone a Devo for a tick chase or something like that. Um, but I, I still need that. Um, but I don't know what they mean by why vaulted. Uh, it doesn't make any sense because they're all limited number. So they all should be essentially vaulted, right? Um, I guess it's interesting because they, could they come out with a different can? Like they do international now. Like the Alice in Wonderland's international is 5,000 and U.S. is 10,000. So, technically, I'd rather have the international Alice in Wonderland sodas because the chases are more limited. So, they're even smaller numbers. So, you know, it, it's just interesting to think about, like, how that kind of would work out. Um, Stan Lee, of course, they have the international soda can, and it's a different color, too, as well. So, it'll be really interesting to see how all these kind of play out. Um you can, yeah, but still, a vaulted pop is vaulted. Like it doesn't matter the character because you can, you have a million different Iron Mans, but the Iron Man is vaulted. So I, I, I don't know. I, Tick, I can't see. I can't see them doing anything different, anyways, with him. Um, and I don't think he was, you know, I don't think more of it. But I mean, it's the same number, so I don't think of anything different. But uh, thank you, thank you, Tony. Um, we are going to almost go to our premiere, so don't forget, two minutes, premiere. Should kick you on over there or come up with a link for you, and it kicks you on over to the premiere just in a few minutes. So um, that's always a nice thing about doing the live and then the premiere right afterwards because it should move everyone over there to watch it. Um, but we only got about a minute left. I just want to say thank you again for everyone for helping get to 2K. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see everyone out on Pop Force 1 this week. We'll have some fun. Of course, maybe I can pull two more Devo chases. Let's hope, right? We did, we did pretty well so far. So let's ho hope we can get two more Devo chases out of that box from Box Lunch. That would be insane to have four chases from the same run. Um, but you never know. I've seen it before. So, um, But I look forward to having everyone over there and seeing everyone on the premiere hopefully you can make it over there don't forget to hit the like button on here but also on the premiere when you go over there hit the like button afterwards comment actually not just in the chat you can chat along and have some fun but comment too because uh, you know I always read the comments and reply to back or if you go back later on but i will see everyone over there in just a minute um, good night everyone see you there bye everyone